This is your daily market review for Monday, April 15th, 2024. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka The Trading Agent, and this is your daily market review for Monday, April 15th, 2024. Tax day is come and gone. As we know, there's a lot of geopolitical turmoil going on. Tried to warn folks, be careful buying the dip. To me, as we talked about for weeks, the top is in. Somebody knew something. We've seen the action slowly deteriorate. And when we say deteriorate, meaning just weaken within the charts. Very obvious, very clear. But again, the timing. When does it close the door for bulls to take profit, bears to get their shorts in? and be thoughtful of what's going on. So as we know, there's a lot at play as of right now. The whole, as I've said for what seems like forever, that the feds, the only way that they were going to cut rates was with some sort of black swan event or there's going to have to be a credit event. And, uh, you know, the black swan event, maybe it's happening right now, World War Three. I don't know. It just seems highly unlikely that this won't last. Hopefully I'm wrong or hopefully I'm right about that. But Point being is the economy is weakening, like there's zero doubt. And it's just a matter of when, not if, the Fed rate hikes really crush the economy. Because again, the rates are way too high. Housing, commercial, business loans. I mean, everybody's feeling the pain. So if you're new to the channel, check out the Discord room. The link is in the description below. If you need to schedule a chat, live Zoom, let's chat. Hit me up. Check out the website, tradingagent.com. Get your Marcus 5.5%. Get your uh, interactive brokers. I'm telling you, recommended reading three books. That's all you need for trading. Also, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you hit the notification bell today, you actually had a chance to watch the live chat. We talked about what was going on, what levels need to hold, and if they didn't, goodbye. Well, guess what? Everything played out like we thought it would, and it's it just is what it is. So let's go through the levels next, and let's see what to expect coming up going into the rest of the week. Also, follow on Twitter where we're posting the trades. Again, here is the live chat we did earlier. So as we talked about in the preview in the live chat, like there's no rate height really till expected or cut until the end of the year. And so for the market to have any semblance of a rate cut, May, June, maybe even July, you need you need inflation to come down. You need geopolitical risk. You need something. As at this point, you're again, it's not <laughs> the markets are gonna have to drop for the feds to really be able to justify cutting rates. Just remember that. Like they can't do it when the market's five, ten percent off the all time highs. Nobody in their right mind is going to give them credit for that. Bitcoin, we talked about 61,000, 71,000 has to hold. Oil, chopping around. I mean, at the close, it did rally. Um, yeah, again, I like commodities long term. I'm on record and I, I I don't know. Like I said, I wait for them to throw the baby out with the bathwater. And again, have they bottomed? Potentially. You never know. You never, never know. So, you never know. So, anyway, the dollar holding up right? It's been ripping. We talked about keeping an eye on it. Bonds. This is a problem, right? Making new lows. Yikes. We talked about once it broke the 91 level, there's no bottom until you get back down to the 80s, low 80s potentially. The VIX, as we said, as long as it held the 17 area, the downtrend breaking, what's going to happen? They were like, oh, it's, it, it's the VIX. There's so much. It's like, no, we haven't seen any pain. We haven't hit pain thresholds yet, y'all. Keep that in mind. Vixen, we talked about chopping around, holding up Vivix, catching that bid too. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, right? So just be thoughtful. Be thoughtful. We talked about the Vixen waking up, holding the 76 layer. Spy, we said watch the two-day range really. Like at one point this morning when the market bounced, there was a low of 5.0, whatever, 9 and change. We took it out. 20-day curling down. First dip got bought. Yikes, not looking good. QQQ, we said once the 4.30, mid 4.30s breaks, look out below, breaky, breaky. We were watching the IWM earlier because it's like, why is the IWM making new lows and breaking the 100 day? It's like, it's already confirmed. Yes, I mean, not yesterday, but Friday. And that's how I said, be careful. It's just a matter of time, not if. Dia, same kind of thing. Breaky, breaky, 100 day, yada, yada. Gold got a nice rally again. If you want to short materials in miners, and you know, Anything short within the metals, short the miners. Do not short gold. Again, I feel like the top is in. 
Same thing with silver, but it doesn't, again, I think the easy fruit to hang is, again, the miners. We've talked about the GDX, the GDX state. Like, again, any miner that has involvement in this, because, again, they get thrown a baby out of the bathwater. The credit issues, they trade in the S&P 500. They're big names. Think about how, again, liquidity goes out with the tide. All boats get pulled down. GDX, again, looks like it's topped. GDXJ, looks like it's topped. Now, again, could we be wrong? Always. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a certainty game. It's a probability game. AM, AG, again, all these long-term, if you disappear, and again, I'm going on record, this is my favorite sector long-term, but you'd have to, you're have to, you going to have to disappear. There's going to be some volatility. Newmont, again, breaking the downtrend, but chopping around it, pass, chop, chop. So zoom out, because again, if you've watched this channel at all, you know in the past that we've talked about how miners get crushed when liquidity goes out. But then there's a great, they're great buys when the feds pivot. Taiwan Semi, again, we tell you this is dead money, in my opinion. They're going to have problems at some point. Watch the 20-day Micron. This one's been the hardest one to, you know, really get a read on. It's holding up pretty well. I wouldn't short it. Like, AMD has been a turd. Like, NVIDIA, those have been acting bad. They're making lower lows and lower highs. Like, NVIDIA, we said, watch today when it got up to the 20-day. Again, three-day range up here. Projection. SMCI. SMCI. Same thing, head and shoulders top. It just, if, again, if it breaks 860s, goodbye. You better be careful. Intellectual property, right? We've talked about this been just dogging. Rough, rough. Just heading lower and lower and lower. Be careful. SMH finally broke support. Talked about it, watching it. Watching it. 20 days broken. Now it's curling down. This is all stuff that's bearish, folks. Adobe. No one wants to hear it because they're like told, oh, the market's great. The economy's fine. It's like, no, it's warned you guys. Not everything is fine out there. Adobe's been chopping, double topping. Just making lower lows, lower highs. Apple today said that I think their sales were going to be down 9%. Well, again, I don't know why it rallied last week. It makes no sense. Oversold bounce. Okay, now you worked off the oversold conditions by chopping around. I watched the 168 level. Amazonian, we said this one's been holding up pretty well. Yeah, watch what happens if these things that have been leading start to, like, again, not even leading. They just, they've been chopping around. Some have been lagging. Like CRM today just got cooked. Like there's a lot of underlying damage being done. Guggenhole, Guggenhole holding up as long as it stays over 155. Microsoft, we talked about, couldn't break out. Uh-oh, now it's starting to melt. NDAQ, again, I've said this, I've gone on record, like this thing is toast at some point. Holding the upper 60 or mid 60s and fail. MicroStrategy, I said, if Bitcoin pulls back, they all pull back. You should just expect 1,200 minimum. I don't know why we wouldn't come right back to 1200 Netflix and spill or Netflix and chill. It's been chilling for a while, but here you go now. Breaking the 20-day, some old trend lines. Again, I'd watch what happens at the 580 level. Roblox, we said, don't, don't really trust this thing at all. It just looks like, again, I'd like to see this thing in the low 20s. Pan W, gone on record again. I like this long-term. If Pelosi believes in cybersecurity issues, so do I. If she's buying calls on this long-term, but then we said it was a little suspect that last week, what? popped and then a bunch of calls went off and it's like who's buying and who's selling these calls well let's see again because if i was long term long this i would sell calls on pops knowing that at some point when it's done dropping then i don't need a hedge anymore if you don't know what that means meaning essentially that somebody is bought long-term calls but they sold short-term or one nearer term ones to hedge collect premium makes sense tesla I think they're laying off with a 10% of their workforce. Again, things aren't great, but the news isn't going to tell you it's bad until when? The bottom or until it's too late and you're trapped. Airbnb, we've talked about this one, 20-day breaking, just turning down. Costco, every time it hits a 20-day rejection. But it, I mean, it's interesting. It got over it for two days, right? Pops this morning, touches this like 735 area, gives it up, closes it the little day. Starbucks, this thing's been lagging for what seems like forever. I mean, it's dead money. Told you guys this thing was toast. It's toast. FedEx, been holding up pretty well post-earnings, but then guess what? Starting to melt right back down now below the 20-day. I mean, again, everywhere, weakness. The only thing that's really been incredibly strong is gold and Caterpillar. But Caterpillar better hit the 20-day. I mean, you can literally just set an alarm, break it, short it. You got a lot of room to drop, but be careful going into earnings. Uh, new core again we like material names been holding up really well but now they're starting to weaken again letter x is not going to get bought by nippon we told you there's other bidders chopping around valet i mean this is massive support long term massive area 
Like, can it hold here? We'll see. I mean, there's a gap down there. Keep that in mind. Please mind the gap. Arrow, copper's been holding up pretty damn well. Call it what it is, right? But we said watch what happens when it touches this area up here. <sighs> Seems to be getting tired. CCJ gets the Goldman upgrade at the highs. This always makes me suspect, right? Again, not that we don't like uranium long-term, but again, all material names get flushed. Potentially, if there's credit issues in the market, gets swamped. Remember, the, all these companies have to borrow money to get stuff out of the ground. If all of a sudden, they can't get capital. What happens? Danger, danger, danger. CF, again, we like ag names long term, but they get in the same boat. Same boat. Mosaic, love all these names. Let them. I don't even know what the lows will be. They could crush these things down to levels that you will make your eyes water. NTR, AA, holding up pretty well. Again, you got to like aluminum long term. We've talked about that. Just let it play out. XLF, we talked about financials were done. Goldman Sachs has earnings. Okay, holds up pretty well, right? Okay, keep an eye on it. Like we said, it was toast in my opinion. Like this is the easiest short because who holds all the bags to all these global issues? The banks. Nice gap up today and gives it right back. JP Mo gets up like four or five bucks, gives it back. Morgan Stanley. Pops on Goldman's earnings, chopping around. Bank of America, chopping around, holding up pretty well. Goldman, again, popped up on earnings. What does it do? Gives it all back with a decent amount of volume. Again, nothing really looks great out there. We talked about the KRE leading, right? Things that should be strong. If the economy is strong, junior banks shouldn't be like death spiraling and then now just basing and then not making new highs. Like here it is. Here's your stuck zone at 50, right? XBI, we said there's another one. Like if, if the economy's strong and people are buying stocks and feeling comfortable, they're buying junior biotechs. Well, if rates are going higher, bi junior biotechs get screwed. Because remember, they're burn money. They just borrow money and they need low interest rates. Oops. Yikes. Talked about watching the housing index, like XHB. Like keep an eye on this. Look at this. I mean, you had the big gap down. Now it's starting to turn. And again, think about it. It just went up. It almost doubled. Not sustainable, y'all. Okay, last but not least, solar, oil and gas, all that stuff. Look at solar, right? Dead, dead, dead. Oh gosh, new lows. We've talked about these things are ugly. Sedge, watch out. They're gonna go much lower. I've said that over and over. I just don't know when. ENPH, 200 day, 100 day trap. Uh-oh, break it down. First solar, chopping around. Said watch what happens if it gets up here. Again, this thing is, this is one of the harder stocks to trade because it's really crazy. You don't know, like, like it doesn't, hold levels it wicks out closes at crazy places and then doesn't come back right like oh we close it up <laughs> like it's just a, it's just hard and that's why it's like you have to have stops you have to have discipline you have you have to have like ideas and just hope that your lines are in your spots are spot on layering in obviously not all or nothing hyg talk about corporate debt like you had to be i've said this for i mean i don't know if i say it every night literally but you've got to be out of your freaking mind higher than a kite to be buying corporate debt right now and there it goes. If you zoom out, it's still at level much lower levels. Let's go back. It still hasn't been that great. But there it goes. Last but not least, oil and gas names. Here's oil holding up. All right, we'll see what happens here. I mean, I hate the UNG. I've said this over and over. I don't like this product. Makes new lows. KLD got a, a split today, two for one. Okay, any major pop? I'm telling you, this thing is gold to short xop we've talked about like hey man the economy like this stuff has been acting well but you're coming into levels that could fail and if the market rolls over they're gonna throw the baby out the bathwater. here you go xop rolling over cve we talked about watching this 21 area oops maybe it's time to take profits when you when it's easy exxon mobile this is interesting again holding up near all-time highs or at all-time highs but this is like the top of the range this 120 area we'll see if it holds npc we talked about how gasoline names typically lead down they already peaked, right? Valero. They already look like they peaked. So why would oil not follow, right? Talked about Occidental holding up into this like new area. And like that that candle to me just does not scream happiness. Big trap. Keep an eye on it. EQT again. I like this these names long term. I just let them come in. I think we'll be natural gas exporters, as I've said, over and over and over. And last but not least, Flex LNG. Love this name long term, the dividend yield, but we need to let these names come in. Let them throw the baby out of the bathwater. Let the VIX spike. Let everyone freak out. Let the economy do what it has to do. Let the feds have to announce 
some sort of rate cut because everyone's freaking panicking. And then people have always remember though, rate cuts does not mean things are good. It means that the feds are finally admitting shit is bad. And when they are finally admitting it, that's when the market starts going haywire too. So go back and study the 2008, 2009 because it's the same thing. Like once they cut rates, people started freaking out and realized, oh God, it is bad. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Always here to help. Let me know how I can help you out. Check out the live chat earlier. Well worth it. Weight and gold. Talk to you guys and gals later. Peace.